Okay, Merry Christmas everyone and welcome to my um, Christmas movie showcase recommendation showcase video. Um, so, uh, what is, oh, okay, it is December 20th, 2023. So, I hope everyone is having, you know, you know, uh, a happy holidays and, um, you know, stuff like that. And I wanted to make this video, and I have a, like a small handful of movies over there um, that I'm going to showcase. I, I wasn't able to really pull everything uh, or just, you know, get everything. You know, I have some things possibly under the bed. I have, they're like suitcases, uh, big, quite big, two of them, uh, transparent. They're, they're not really a suitcase, but it's like suitcase shaped and and transparent and kind of like this protective type of plastic um and not like a cheap kind of plastic i, I got them from uh from amazon uh two of them oh wait let me start this okay so um <clears throat> you know things like well I'll, I'll bring up those movies and there are things um possibly on netflix that uh you, you know, I can recommend as well. Okay, I think. Mm hmm. Audio input. Yeah, yeah, I think. Um, I think you're getting music. I think you can hear this. If you can hear this, maybe I'm gonna make it one step louder. Um, wait. Sorry about that. Ah, good. Okay, good. It's playing. Um, this music here, I'm really sorry. This is so unprofessional, but, you know, this is how I do. Uh, <clears throat> this is public domain music, and I want to give credit. Uh, the one who put this up, his name is... Andy Negative, I'll leave his channel down in the description box, and he provided a link to download this uh, public domain Christmas background, background music, chill piano and strings for streaming and parties, and it's public domain so I won't get flagged, so, um, so that, that is what you are hearing. Okay, so, um, oh, I'll be drinking this I, I went to a place called uh, woodsman and um, I've been there once before like maybe close to two decades ago at least maybe 15 years ago um, and it, it was like far away at the time now there's one that's a bit closer it's uh, where the Stratford Square Mall is and, um, I don't know if I shouldn't have said that, but who cares? Okay, so no, nobody. No. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna track on my location, but um, <clears throat> yeah, maybe I shouldn't have said that either. But uh, I got two of these. They're only 69 cents a piece, and maybe I should have gotten more, but rum, chata, <clears throat> peppermint, bark. It's just going to, uh, yeah, there you go. It, it focused, autofocus. Yeah, you see that? So I'm going to be drinking one of them, but I bought two. Okay, so, uh, hmm. yeah, okay, I can put it here. Right? Okay. And, um... I'm gonna wash my hands, mainly because... It's, it's an OCD thing, but... Uh, before I touch my things, I, I don't like it to... <laughs> I don't like it to, um... To touch things from, <laughs> from the outside world. Uh... And that came from the store. And um, 
I'll wipe these down as well, but uh, give me a moment. Okay, great. Great. Okay. Um, so now I shall open this. Just, um, what? Give me a moment. Okay, very good. I kept this like a bit in the freezer and then I put it in the refrigerator, so. I know horchata, rum chata, but horchata is like a Mexican kind of rice milk or rice water kind of uh, drink. Mm. Mm -hmm. Almost like like an eggnog or something. Surprisingly good. Okay, so there's no particular order, I guess. But I will start with the ones that, very briefly, you know, and, and there's, there's way more to see than what I'm showing. This is just some of my recommendations, right? Um, there, you know, of course, you know, you can watch Die Hard, that first one that takes place, you know, during Christmas. Did the second one, or was it just winter? I, I f for sure the first one, you know, that's basically like a Christmas film. Uh, so you can check that out. Um... Okay, and um, <clears throat> I thought there was something else, but ah, ah okay. Uh, now, okay, now I will show the stuff. Okay, of course, this is a family classic, you know, a childhood classic. Uh, this Garfield Halloween celeb celebrations DVD. Uh, the one in particular, what I'm talking about, is Garfield's Garfield Christmas, is it? A Garfield Christmas, right? You have such songs like uh, Chopping down the tree chores <laughs> Right? Um, you also have Let's have that good old-fashioned Christmas down on the farm a little overeaten, never did you any harm, right? Let's have a good old, let's do this again next year, Yoda Lay, right? Um, that, that, so, you know, that one, Garfield Christmas, it's a great, um, you know, childhood classic, and I'm sure all of you guys have seen it. <clears throat> uh, a, a touching, little touching scene with Garfield giving the grandmother her gift, which are the letters, her love letters from. Uh, her deceased husband, and then Odie giving Garfield the back scratcher type of uh, self back scratcher uh, kind of uh, device, right? Uh, and about him going on a mission to put the star up on the tree. You know, never never send a man to do a cat's job. Uh, if I'm not down, I think it said in like five minutes or something like that. Uh, send a banana cream pie after me or something like that or pumpkin pie. Uh, but yeah, so a uh, Garfield's Halloween, that is a great one. Okay, this next one might be. Uh, well, of course, there's It's a Wonderful Life, but I don't own that yet, so that's another one. Now this one you can actually I've, I've owned this for for many years now, and it's still in immaculate condition. You can see this on. Um, I think it's on Prime, right? It's either Prime or in Max. But I want to say it's on Prime. But if it's not on Prime, check Max. Judy Garland, this is, uh, was this in the 40s or something? I think this was like in the early 40s, this film. Uh, uh, 44, right? Uh, Meet Me in St. Louis. Meet me in St. Louis, Louis. Um, we will dance. Oh. 
We will dance the hokey pokey. Uh, I will be your tootsie wootsie. If you meet me in St. Louis, Louis, meet me at the fair, right? Something like that. Uh, this is such a great one. Um, around midway through, you know, there's um, Judy Garland's um, uh, rendition of uh, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, uh, singing to uh, the, little, the little sister, I believe. It's kind of been a while, the little girl is... I think it's her little little sister uh, singing to her and the whole thing involves like a move and they don't really want to move um, and just their hardships along the way now th this is not um, I guess you it's not really like a, a exclusively a, a Christmas film per se but it fits in because it, it goes through the seasons you know it goes through you know the phases of what's going through their lives and it goes through Christmas um, and how it's like all of these things is affecting them they have to move because I think the husband uh, you know it's a job related you know he had to move but um, yeah this is a fantastic one and um, partly a musical as well yeah you have skip to my Lou on here the trolley song ding 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 went the trolley a ring, 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 went to trolley, ding, 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 went to bow, something like that. Right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, went my heartstrings, and I, and I, and I, and I fell, something like that. Uh, but Judy Garland, she was, she was truly something. Uh, Manelli, the one who directed that, I can't remember. I can't remember his first name. Andrew Manelli or something like that. I can't remember his first name, but became her husband, hence why the daughter, her, her name is Liza Manelli, right? So that's like a little fun fact. Um, okay, this this one, I'm sure a lot of you have seen this in the past, you know, and the one specifically, the two of them I'm talking about is, um, oh, what is that? Uh, a Charlie Brown Christmas, right, right, with uh, with the Christmas tree, right, and uh, how he he picked up this this lame, pathetic, gangly tree, right. It's small. It's just like what what his friends all consider a crap tree, but then really, you know, they dressed it up and it it looks pretty, you know. Uh, Snoopy winning first prize. Charlie Brown just worried how Christmas has all become commercial um, you know it's all these classic things or how about when when he's like was someone tell me what Christmas is all about and then Linus of course uh, does his little monologue of the the story of how it all began so I love that Th this is a good set to own okay uh, again, you know, I just want to remind you, this music is a public domain Christmas background music uh, put out by Andy Negative. <clears throat> if you check the link below, please subscribe to him as well. Um, tell him I sent you, please, yeah. Uh, but you can download this music for free, and I hope it's not really overpowering what I'm saying. Oh, God, is this... Audio? Okay, it looks like... Yeah, I think it's recording just fine. Yeah, okay, it's good. Now this one, this is the um, Rankin Bass, right? Everyone knows these, you know, you have Rudolph. Rudolph. You have um, a misfit, a nitwit, nitwit. Why don't I fit in, right? And then the, the, the land of uh, misfit toys, right? You have Santa Claus is coming to town. Uh, you have Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman. Thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump. Durante, come on now. Okay, so it's, it's claymation and that is a classic. So everyone should go see it. You know, pick up that or just stream it somehow if it's available now this one I have the first one as well but I don't 
you know, where I put it. It might actually be under the bed, you know, and I don't want to just dig it out. Um, but the trilogy of this is great. The Santa Claus, then the Santa Claus 2, you know, with Santa Claus 1, how he became Santa Claus, and then there was the, the, the Santa Claus, you know, on the contract, and then the Santa Claus 2, where he has to find uh, a wife, the Mrs. Claus, and then the third one, the Escape Claus, right, where uh, Jack Frost, played by um, Martin Short, uh, tricked him uh, into giving up his uh, Santa Claus power, and he took it for his own. So, so this trilogy is great. Um, the Disney Plus series is is pretty good too. Uh, he can still pull it off. Um, some may argue that they've gone a bit more. I don't want to use the word, but it's it's still fine. You know, I, I still enjoyed it. But I've I've heard people argue this. But I, I still enjoyed it. The, the word I, I was going to use is like it. Um, they just uh, 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 kind of conformed or, or are sold out to the way things are in the world, I'll say. But um, I thought it was still fine. I haven't seen the second season yet, so I, I still have to do that. But I saw the first season last year. Um, Okay, now before I show this one, on Netflix, of the same title, I think, it is called Scrooge, and I think it is, um, I, I cannot remember his name, but he played um, Gaston in the live action of Beauty and the Beast, I cannot remember his name, and he, he also played Bard, his name is Bard, from uh, the, the Hobbit trilogy, I think starting in uh, Desolation of Smog right up until the end um that actor he voiced ebenezer scrooge and that is a musical that is a sort of like a the animated version made decades later of the albert finney live action movie scrooge the musical and this is quite a good one okay we have uh, alec guinness in here as uh, jacob marley uh there are other people in here but um I don't think I'm extremely familiar with some of them. Let me see if some names just kind of pop up, pop out at me. But um, but you know, it's it's a British uh, film, and Albert Finney, of course, you know, being Scrooge, and he played it to perfection. He doesn't have the best singing voice, but he sings with heart, and that's what I love about it. Um, and it's still because of that, you know, it sounds great. You know, the songs he sings, um, you. You were good to me. You, you, you were a dream gone by. Did all you could for me. I let you go away. Right? You, my only love. You, my only, you, you, you know, oh, it's beautiful. Um, uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's the nicest thing that anyone's ever done for me. It seems a bit bizarre, but things the way they are, right? And if I had a trump, and if I had a bugle, I would blow it to give that sort of house a father touch. But since I left me bugle at home, I simply have to say, you know, th this is a great one. Okay, so do check out Scrooge. It's just the same story that we all know and love. Uh, maybe bits were expanded, like um, I want to say maybe some bits of his childhood and some bits of his um, young young man years were kind of expanded a little bit. Fezzy Wink, maybe, um, but great, great songs along the way. Um, and I think this makes a great companion piece or, or rather the animated version makes a great companion piece to this so do check out the Netflix animated one and then also check out this okay now last but not least again not really a Christmas film but it is just one of my absolute favorite coming-of-age films I've seen this like a dozen times the Ice Princess, you know, we have Michelle Trechtenberg of Buffy the Vampire fame, Harriet the Spy. Um, 
uh, we have uh, 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 Panettiere, uh, her name is uh, H- or Hayden, I think Hayden Panettiere, we have Kim Cattrall, uh, uh, Joan, uh, what is her name, Joan, uh, uh, Joan Cusack, also in it. Um, and we have some actual real skaters in here, I think uh, Nancy Kwan makes an appearance uh, near the end. Uh, but we have some young skater talents in here. The thing about this is, she, okay, Michelle Trachtenberg, and it is apparent, but it doesn't, it doesn't distract from the film at all. It is apparent that she's not a real skater. She knows maybe basic moves and can, um, you know, maybe train and practice to be on skates, but nowhere near the level of the ones who actually do know how to skate. Even, um, it's kind of apparent, I guess, even with, uh, uh, with uh, Hayden Panettiere's character, but something happens in there where she doesn't have to be in the final. Okay, so it 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 doesn't really showcase her too much. It it's it's mostly centered around her, and because you know, uh, um, she proceeds the ones who know how to skate, who do really know how to do it. Um, you can see the cutaways and stuff for her, but it's seamless with some of the other ones. But it doesn't matter. The story is great in here, and it'll bring tears to your eyes. Um, Joan Cusack, uh, just basically wanting her to uh, to focus more on her academic skills, which she's she's really good at it. You know, she's good with physics and math, and very smart and everything. And that's what her mother, you know, J- uh, Joan Cusack, wants her to focus on. And she's always been jealous of, you know, like the popular girl and stuff like that, which is what um, <clears throat> Kim Cattrall's character was. And she was about to become a famous skater until she made a mistake in her youth. And uh, by the time it, it got her, uh, sh- uh, her like license or whatever it is, got revoked. And then by the time she was able to, you know, it, it ended. She was already too old, you know, so she pushes her daughter, which is played by um, Hayden Panettiere, but she doesn't really want to skate so much. Uh, as I think uh, her, her name is the Jumping Shrimp, as she said, oh, boo-hoo, don't you just want to skate, like, all the time, right? And then the other two, they just looked at each other and said, no, you know, because it's so, so hard for them to train, you know, what they have to go through. But the the story in here is absolutely fantastic. A great coming of age. And this is why it belongs in the Christmas, you know, uh, you know, to me, like a uh, you know, part of like the, 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 the repertoire of, of um, Christmas, you know, part of the rotation for that, along with obviously things like, and I, I could have gotten it actually, but Frozen, the Frozen films, Frozen Run, Frozen 2, uh, there is also Olaf's Christmas, right? Um, so those are some other, you know, honorable mentions to see. So th- those are my recommendations, guys. Holy cow. I only, like, drank this at the beginning once, and then I got caught up. But that's okay. I'm going to save it for maybe in a little bit. Today, tonight, I will... Um, Let's play Baldur's Gate 3. I'll get back more into that. I have, I don't know, five or six episodes already recorded and uploaded, uh, but, but you know, not set for release just yet. I mean, they're, they're coming, though. They're on a schedule, I'll say that. It'll just be a surprise, I suppose. Uh, but I'm going to record more because I do love that game. Uh, and uh, on a side note, I, I also really love, still... Uh, Starfield, but I will put that on hold for a little while and focus on Baldur's Gate 3, so I'll be jumping back and forth, and then I'm going to also try to finish off um, uh, Skyrim, okay? So Merry Christmas to all of you guys. Uh, You know, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the the like button, and please hit the subscribe button if you wish to support me uh, further, and it will help with my channel. Um, It would be like the greatest Christmas present for me, okay, and I I appreciate all of you guys, so I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and um, uh, see you on the next adventures, and also see you next year, I can't really just say see you next year, because I have some other videos coming out still, you know, 
before the next year. Okay, so um, see ya. No, oh, do this. Okay, see ya.